guys, it's me again, back with yet another video and this time I'm really excited for it. So like a year ago I watched Naruto and I'm sure a lot of you have already watched Naruto and I'm sure you'll love it too. Now there were a lot of amazing things in Naruto but Sharingan specially caught my eye. I wanted to replicate this effect and make a video about it very desperately. But I thought I should start my channel with easier videos and then move on to it. And I did. I made some easier videos and I was making my way towards it but unfortunately my laptop gave up and I couldn't do it. So when I resumed making videos a couple weeks ago, I thought I don't want to wait any longer. I'll make it right now. So I did. So as soon as the idea popped into my head, I thought I'll have to make a cheap cosplay outfit to, you know, resemble someone at least. So I put on the only turtleneck I have. I tried to stick the turtleneck to my face, but it just didn't. So I ended up using double-sided tape on my cheeks to keep the whole thing together. I also put on a folded scarf on my head. It didn't have the leaf logo, but eh, all I cared was about the shine gun effect. Now came the time for production. To shoot this video, I set up a key light towards my right like I have in this talking head video and I set up a fill light towards my left to fill all the shadows like I have in this talking head video. I also had a backlight which was this litra light stuck to the wall. This is a really helpful tool. Uh, ask anyone I've ever worked with. This is always in my bag and every project I've done has this somewhere inside it. Now for the actual shooting part, I could have chosen my 35mm 1.2 lens which would have given me much more depth and impacted the video even more. But the thing is shooting a close up of a face is a very tricky thing. You can't just use any lens because it looks weird. You at least have to have let's say 75mm uh, of focal length to shoot a close up of a face for it to look good. So I shot my video using this 12-60mm to lens which on a GH5 turns into 24 to 120mm lens and I use 90mm of focal lens to shoot this video. Now that I had shot my video, now comes the part of post-production. The first step in post-production was creating the elements that had to be fitted in my eyes. Now what I thought was there would be a lot of elements available on YouTube that I could just download and use in my video. But I was wrong. I mean don't get me wrong, there were a lot of elements available on YouTube but they were just not up to my standards. I had studied all of the Sharingan scenes in the anime really closely, studied every detail, learned how it transforms and none of the animations available on YouTube did that. So there was only one thing left, I had to make my own and I did. Now as small as these elements look, they were really hard to make and animating them was a pain in my ass. Now I chose three major characters from the anime Itachi, Sasuke and Kakashi and I made three separate Mangekyo Sharingans of respective characters. You can download the elements from the link in description, they are rendered at 2K 120fps so resolution is not going to be a problem and also you'll have a lot of space to time remap the elements to match your footage. Now I couldn't just have given them away for free, I spent a lot of time making them so they are not free but they are also very affordable. Now let's move on to the actual editing part. Now that you have downloaded your elements, you have shot your footage, import all of them into your After Effects. Click and drag your footage into the composition. Split it into the parts where you need to add the VFX and where you don't. Now click on the part where you need to add the VFX, right click, click on pre-compose and then click on move all attributes. Now double click on the pre-comp layer and this will open a new composition consisting of only your VFX base layer. Now select the layer, press enter and name it to VFX base. Now the element has to stick with our eyes so we need to track them and there are two separate tracking that we need to do. One is of the whole eye and second is of the pupil because the element has to be attached to the pupil not the whole eye. Now if you guys remember how we tracked our glasses in the last video, it's gonna be easy. All you need to do is duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D, rename it to track layer, select it, go to animation, click on track in mocha. Now this window will open up, press X, seek to the beginning of the clip, select the B spline tool. Now create a mask around your eye and track the eye throughout the footage. Now remember to move your mask with your eyelids closing and opening. For a more in-depth tracking tutorial watch this video. Now that you have your right eye tracked, press Ctrl S, close this window and go to the effects control panel and click on create AE mask. Now create a new white solid and name it right eye matte. Copy the mask from the track layer and paste it on the white solid like we did in the previous tutorial. This will create a white solid around your eye. Hide this layer. Go back to the track layer, go into the effects control panel, reset the mocha effect, go back to the mocha window and do the same process for the left eye. Again, if you want to know more in depth about this process, check out this video. Okay, after you've done the process for both the eyes, right eye and left eye, you'll have two white solids called 
right eye mat and left eye mat. Hide both of them and we'll use them later. Now comes the part where we track the pupil of the eye. To do that, select the track layer, go to the effects control panel, delete the mocha effect. Now double click on the track layer. You'll see this tracker option towards the right. If you don't, click on window and select the tracker option from the drop down menu. Now you'll see the tracker option on your right. Now from this menu, click on track motion. You'll see this tracking marker appear on your footage. Move your tracking marker towards the center of your right eye's pupil. Resize the search boxes like so. Then click on this track forward button and let the software do its work. Again, like Mocha, if you see the software make a mistake, move the tracking marker manually and press on track forward again. Now, when the software is done tracking, go back to the composition, right click, create new null object. Now you'll see null object appear in your composition. Press enter and rename it to right eye null. Go back to the tracker menu and you'll see this set target option. Click on it and select right eye null. Click on apply, choose both X and Y and click on OK. Now you'll notice that the tracking marker has stuck to your right eye. Now what you have to do is stick the element to your eye. To do that, bring your element in your composition, move it under the right eye mat. Remember to move it under the right eye mat. Now change the position and the scale of the element to match your right eye's pupil. Now click on this parent link option and then select right eye null. Now what this has done is stuck the element to the right eye null. And if you play back the video, the element is nicely attached to the right eye. All you need to do now is mask out the eyelids. For that, we have the right eye mat. Again, remember to have your right eye mat above your right eye element. Click on this track mat option and select Luma mat. Now, if you don't see this track mat option, click on this button over here. Now, as soon as you click on Luma mat, this automatically masks out the eyelids from the element. Why? Because this sets a reference on your element layer to be visible only in the area where the layer above it is white and to be invisible in the area where the layer above it is black. Now you'll see some sharp and rough edges around the element which does not look realistic at all. So all you need to do now is go to the right eye matte layer and then click on the mask properties and play with the feather and expansion a little bit. Not a lot, very little bit. Now repeat the same process for your left eye. Create a new null object, name it left eye null, track the left eye pupil, set the target to the left eye null, remember to set the target to the left eye null, then click on apply, both X and Y, OK. Bring the same Sharingan element to the composition again, parent it to the left eye null, resize it, reposition it, and then apply Luma mat to the left eye mat. And there you go, the main VFX part of this video is done. I also added a bulge effect over my element layer to make it a little more dome shape like a real eye. But that's just your personal choice. If you want to, you can. All you need to do now is color the footage, add some movie magic and sound design the fuck out of the shot. And there you go. If you like this video, maybe you learned something, maybe you just like the effect that I made. Please drop a like down below and comment on the video. It really helps the video to reach more people. Also, if you have ideas for more videos, let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely try to make them. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Oh.